Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Real Time Training. My name is Paul Turner, and today I'm working on a project. As you can see behind me, we have a, a hallway here that we need to work on. It's looking a little blank. Uh, but let me just show you kind of the importance of this, at least this area of our youth room. And if you've been watching uh, in the series here that we've been doing on the youth room, on the, uh, you know, that, you know, it's just not, uh, you know, another youth room, uh, you know, there's more important things to it and there's certain elements in it that um, I think are important for every youth ministry. So uh, kind of follow me down this way. You can see on this side and on this side, we have pictures. We have pictures of, uh, you know, different, different events and different things that we've done. And, uh, it's just basically our little hall of, uh, hall of fame. And uh, basically events and things that we've done. I'll kind of show you the other side here. And, um, you know, this is where kids walk through and they start pointing things out and going, hey, I was, I was there. Hey, I was there. Hey, that's me. Hey, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a value here. And this is me at our retreat. And, boy, God did some really cool things at our retreat. And all these different things that we see here. Do you remember that outreach we did? Or do you remember those things? And, those, and it, you know, especially when you start including new kids and things like that, it becomes really kind of a, a, a cool element. So um, this hallway we're going to do a little bit uh, differently. We're going to just put up uh, some letters. And um, I'll show you the pieces and the parts here in just a second. So be right back. Okay, so uh, we're going to start working on this, and let me just show you kind of the pieces and parts that I've uh, picked up for this. Um, there are these uh, big giant letters. These are 13. Oh, my goodness. We love you. We do love you. Anyway, so uh, so, so we have these 13-inch letters. Hello. Who are you? Anyway, uh, sorry, that'll be enough of that. No more, no more jokes like that. But anyway, this... Um, uh, this is a 13-inch letter that you can get from Hobby Lobby. Our friends at Hobby Lobby, I'm going to recommend them because they're a fantastic uh, Christian company besides the fact that they have really cool stuff. And a lot of the other places I went to did not have these 13-inch letters, which are going to work really well on our wall. Um, they're maybe, you know, $3.99 a piece, so that's really uh, cheap. We're going to paint these probably black, uh, get them all painted up. And get them on the wall. Um, some of the other things we're going to do, how we're going to put them on the wall so you don't kind of mess up your, your stuff there, is uh, we have this um, Scotch double-sided tape. And this Scotch double-sided tape is, holds two pounds. So those letters are not two pounds. So if you just cut off um, maybe two pieces at the, at the most, maybe three at the most, to kind of, kind of scatter it around the letter and then kind of situate it up there, um, you're going to be in good shape. I used some of this other tape on some of our letters back over here over my... Uh, left shoulder here. Uh, you can see those letters up there, and I believe I used five pound tape with that. It was a little more expensive. And this is not very expensive. This is maybe three and a half, four dollars uh, when all said and done. And then finally, also at Hobby Lobby, I'll kind of show you the, um, some of the things that I put up there. Um, some of the, some of the uh, things we're going to put up there. Um, we have uh, love, right? Uh, we have, um, let's see, what else do we have here? We have things like friends. Friends. Today's episode is brought to you by friends. Um, so we have these different uh, letters here. We're going to paint all these. We're probably going to do those in black as well um, because the word choices obviously are good for building community and they're good for um, uh, just the looks and it kind of pops off the wall. It's very 3D. I think these were uh, four, I want to say five ninety nine, five ninety nine dollars piece, but they're really, really worth it. Um, they come in all different uh, words and things like that you can put up there. I think we have faith. Uh, I think we have family. I think we have some other ones there. So uh, those are kind of the pieces and the parts we're working with. And so uh, I'll be back in here just a little bit to kind of show you uh, how it all looks when it comes out. All right. We'll see you back in a little bit. Okay. So we're back here and the project is finished for the most part at, the, at this point. And I apologize for the, uh, for the dramatic uh, dress change here. I have a funeral today. But that's beside the point. Uh, so uh, let me kind of take you down the hallway again. As you can see, we've kind of... Um, what we've done here is we have put up, this is our Fusion, Fusion is the name of our, our, our youth group, and so we put up a little sign here that says Fusion Fame, let me see it go around this way, there you go, and um, you know this is where uh, those epic pictures from retreats or things like that will go, and uh, by the way, I can't remember, in, I think in the little earlier part of the uh, video, um, these, this here is called, by the way, this how this picture was done. This is a, not a normal picture. It's like a, um, it's called decoupage. I don't know how to spell that, but if you Google that, basically we were able to take pictures, put it on there, and then put a film over it that kind of gives it that painting kind of feeling. And this particular, these pictures here, 
Um, you know how they're kind of divided up like that? That is a program called Diptych. That's D-I-P-T-I-C. And that is an app I think you can get on your iPhone, your iPad, and I have it on my, uh, on my Mac. So um, that is a great tool for dividing pictures up so you can fit as many kids in a picture as possible and still keep the quality and the clarity. Um, so that's what we did on this one. We put the, uh, the Fusion Fame up there so kids will come in and see that. Now on this side, I found these. You can also get these, um, uh, as you saw earlier, you had these different, uh, uh, you know, words and things like that. And you can kind of see, we painted them different colors. And we'll have family. We'll have, we're going to put some other, other ones up there. But if you have a hallway, if you have an area that kids will go in and out of quite frequently, uh, so important to have some pictures. Take pictures of every event. Uh, have uh, you know different things like that. We're going to put up some other things, possibly some uh, um, uh, what do I want to call them? Just some some uh, shadow boxes that uh, will contain some things like retreat shirts, things like that. And so as we make progress, uh, we'll kind of show you as we go along here. But if you have a hallway or if you have a, a main entryway where you can make pictures and put pictures up, is a great opportunity because when kids walk in a room. They want to know, hey, is this group active? Do they do things? Do they participate? Do they, you know, and these, these pictures are very clear signs that say, look, we're an active youth ministry. We don't just have meetings on Wednesdays. We do a lot more, and it gets them asking questions. So um, and that's our hallway. That's our Fusion Hall of Fame here. And we hope and we wish you much success with your room, whatever you're doing with it. And hopefully these tips and these tricks will uh, come in handy for you and uh, get your kids watching them maybe and get some, let your leaders watch this video and send it to them and let them watch it and maybe get some ideas. Um, but thank you. Thank you for joining us for Real Time Training. And in the next video, we're gonna, I think we're going to do some three small pieces that we're doing in the room right now that won't take up a whole video. But we're going to put three together to kind of show you what else we're doing to kind of round out the room. And then we'll kind of go from there. So uh, thanks again for joining Real Time Train. You can follow me at Paul Turner Two T O O on Twitter. Um, please leave a comment down below, or if you have a question about anything that we've done in our room so far, please go ahead and do that for us. And then don't forget to subscribe up there this way. And uh, and we would love to just continue our conversation with you. And uh, we wish you uh, much blessings and God's peace upon you. And we will see you next time at a next Real Time Training. Thanks. Have a great day.